So all together with this particular soil pit, if we take into consideration the, the evidence of cryoturbation in the form of pattern ground at the surface of the soil, uh, the, the BMY horizon, uh, but we don't have a, a, a very stable, well we do have a skinny BM horizon, we don't have a, a very thick B BM horizon, just the BMY horizon. And given that this particular area would overall be characterized by uh, a relatively uh, high pH, this would classify out as an orthic eutric turbic cryosol. And so in terms of how the, this particular soil would compare to other soils of the cryosolic order, uh, the, the most of the, at the great group level, as I've indicated, there's the turbic, the static, and the organic cryosols. And so the turbic and the static are the two mineral cryosols, where the turbic is the one with evidence of cryoturbation and static does not. And the organic is the one that's formed on organic parent material, basically just like the organic order, but uh, with permafrost within one meter uh, depth. And so in terms of the organic order, all of the, uh, all of the subgroups then within that, or within the organic uh, great group rather, all of the subgroups within that are very similar to those of the organic order. So in, in terms of uh, reflecting degree of decomposition, depth to the mineral layer. In this particular, uh, within the turbic great group overall, uh, as well as within the static, a lot of the, the subgroups then within that reflect, as with most of the other orders, reflect your gradation to other orders. So in the case of both of these, as I indicated, a lot of the, the, uh, the gradation tends to be towards brunosolic soils. Just given the soil forming environment, these tend to be uh, not overdeveloped soils. So often with the, just as at the BM horizons, the slightly modified horizons uh, in, in both the turbic and the static. So tending towards the uh, either, uh, as in the case of this one, the orthic eutric turbic cryosol, so it's got some characteristics of the brunosolic. If it had a, a, a pronounced horizontal BM horizon within it though, it would, could be a, a brunosolic eutric turbic cryosol, so just indicating that it's that much further towards being a brunosol. Similarly, you can have a glycolic uh, 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 subgroup which indicates that it's grading towards the glycolic order, uh, regosolic uh, indicating that there's very weak, uh, weak soil development or basically no B horizon present, and also in, in some environments you'll, you'll come across a, a luvisolic subgroup as well. So those are the major, uh, the major subgroups that we would see associated with this. But in this particular soil here uh, on the alpine tundra, this would be an example of an orthic eutric turbic cryosol.